Today we're going to talk about some jump blues chords. Now I'm a big jump blues guitar fan, but a great place to start with all of that is chords, because chords are everything really. Now we're going to play a, a 12 bar blues in B flat. Now B flat's a great tune to play jump blues and swing in, it's a great horn key. Now when a lot of people come at jump blues, they see a 7th chord, which would just be... Which is why it sounds a bit clunky, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's got that sound, you know what I mean? Which you don't want it, you want it to sound more like a horn section, which is what a lot of guitar players were doing when they were coming up with guitar parts to play on R&B records because they were trying to voice like horn sections. So what a great chord is to play instead of that 7 there is just a 6 chord which is that. It's a sweet chord, it really jumps, and it's very simple. All you do is you just take an F chord like that. Now, it's called a six because it's got the sixth note of the major scale in there. Now, in the key of F, that note just happens to be D, which is here. So, there's your regular F. You put the D in there, which is on the third fret of the B string. And there you've got an F6 chord. There's the root note right there. Now if you move it up to here to B flat, then you've got... Which is a really cool sounding chord. Now when you go to the IV chord, this is what uh, I've learned from a lot of great uh, jazz guitar players, is the, the less movement there is harmonically between chords, the cooler it's going to sound. So if you're going from, say... B flat, which is a 6, to E flat, which is directly underneath it. The only difference between the E flat 7, which is that, and the B flat 6, is that note right there, which is the D. You flatten it, it becomes a C sharp. So we go from the 1 chord to the 4 chord. Now, a huge part of jazz and jump blues and swing music is what's called the 2-5 turnaround. Okay, the, the whole number system, we can go through that another time. Now, a 2-5 in the key of B flat would be C. Bearing in mind the 2 chord is usually played as a minor. And the 5 would be F9. So... F6, uh, sorry, B flat 6, E flat 7, B flat 6. Now here's something really cool. There's a chord called a, a minor 6 chord, which is this. There's your minor 7 right there. Now to make that a minor 6, you just take that 7, move it down a semitone, and there's your minor 6. The great thing about the minor 6 is you only change the root note to an F and then it becomes an F9 chord. See? So if we put that all together as a 12 bar blues, it would sound like this. And there you got a great swinging set of chords right under your fingertips and you can jump right away in a 12 bar.